Maybe two weeks later, I gave Seamus a lifter and I tore my bicep. And um, I went through a real bad phase then because, you know, I was like, man, this is not going to work for us. I mean, this is a run of bad luck. We came back to TV and then at Raw 25, we were booked to do the deal with Hunter and his friends where they just beat us up. And I was so upset because for a lot of guys, it's like, oh, it's, it's a paycheck. Who cares? But not to me. There's a legacy I want to leave. But that happened, and I talked to Sean, and that was the first time we talked since um, the PC days. And I told him, like, I was like, man, this happened, tore my bicep. I went through a really dark period. I thought I was going to quit. But thankfully, just like I've told you, I had the greatest wife in the world, and she has supported me, and she brought me out of this funk, and, like, she brought me out of a dark place, and I'm here now, and I'm super happy. He said, I was the same way. I was in this very dark spot. I met my wife. She's beautiful. She pulled me out of this dark spot, too. I was like, oh, that's so awesome. He said, look, you and your partner are way too talented to be doing what you're doing tonight. You're way too talented to stay at this point. Just keep your nose to the ground and keep grinding, and you're going to get over it. Like, oh, man, Sean, thank you so much. And so we had this bonding moment, and then we got in front of his friends, X-Pac and Hunter and Billy and Road Dog and Scott. And as soon as we got in front of his friends, he started making fun of me and making fun of my situation and what happened with my bicep. And I was like, man, I just poured my heart out to you. And as soon as we get in front of your friends, because we're going over what, you know, they're going to beat the shit out of us, you decide to take all that stuff and make fun of me about it. And I never, ever forgot it. And um, as soon as we were done with the business at Raw, one person said thank you to us, and it was Sean Waltman. Everyone else was so cold to us and treated us like we were just like, the shit on the bottom of their shoes, except for Sean Waltman. And I'll never forget that for Sean. And I hope that there's a day that comes that we can have a conversation, sit down, and I can ask him why he did that. And we can reconcile if he wants to. But yeah, if I love you, I love you. If I don't, I don't.